Existing for decades as a safe space for citizens seeking leisure and relaxation, the popular Jovera Park at Schoonard will soon be transformed into a modern recreation space, an enhancement that could cost the Chinese government between 10 to 12 million US dollars. Now in an abandoned state and serving as a habitat for wild animals, work on enhancing the park could start by mid-year following the signing of the implementation agreement at the office of the president on Tuesday. With the official start turning set for July, the announcement works should be completed within 20 months. The space, which was donated to the regional government by the benefactor, businessman Joe Vera, and falls under the National Parks Commission, will soon become equivalent to what the National Park in Georgetown is to the people of Region 3, Essequibo Islands, West Demerara. Commissioner Acting of the Protected Areas Commission and the National Parks Commission, Jason Fraser, said the aim is to retain and improve on the existing green space while providing areas for sporting activities like football and basketball. Other features include a pond, canopy, a children's activity center and picnic lawns. The central feature of the park design is a Guyana-China Friendship Monument, which commemorates the long and ongoing friendship between Guyana and China. The agreement was signed by Commissioner Fraser on behalf of the government of Guyana and the Economic and Commercial Councillor of the Chinese Embassy here in Georgetown. Fully funded by China through a grant, the Chinese ambassador said this is a testimony to the friendship of the two countries. After the establishment of uh, our diplomatic relations in 1972, uh, substantial progress has been made in our cooperation in various fields and um, our friendship has been continuously consolidated. Uh, the governments of both countries adhere to a people-centered philosophy of development. Meanwhile, Foreign Secretary Robert Prasad said the signing was the commencement of a comprehensive program of activities to celebrate the 50th anniversary of bilateral relations between Guyana and China. Prasad said the move to develop the Jovera Park is also in pursuit of the President's vision to develop similar spaces all across the country. But coming back at home to China has been a very reliable developmental partner in a number of initiatives and we can point to several of those and there are several more perhaps that we'll be seeing um, coming up in the future. Our relations over the past 50 years certainly been one that has been very consistent and stable because Guyana we've always maintained our adherence to the one China policy and that has been a policy that we have not deviated from. Reporting for the newsroom from Chervero Park, I'm Kurt Campbell.